Hi, my name is Taimi Torres, and my topic that I decided to write about and have a presentation on is how can art help a child's mind grow? We discussed in our class um, the social and emotional development of a child, physical development of a child, cognitive development of a child, and emotional distresses, abuses that children endure. And I wanted to say that art can help a child in these areas. I'm an art teacher and I teach preschoolers and I am able to use art to help a child go through different phases in their life and help develop them will give them a good foundation to be able to use art and not only art but to be able to have their mindset and be able to prepare them for adulthood adulthood so this is what this presentation is about thank you hey here we are i don't want to read the paragraph that I did write, but I'm just going to give you a little short synopsis of what I'm going to be discussing in the on these uh, slides, that art can help improve focus in children, help reduce the anxiety in children, and help them problem solve, and it also helps them develop their small motor skills. It helps their creativity expand, grow, think outside the box, and it helps them with their language develop their language and it also helps them in their cognitive and problem solving <laughs> what does art help art helps cognitive it can help your children's mind it can help them think it helps them develop their thinking skills Art can help a child's mind grow. It nurtures them. Um, I have children in my classroom that, sad to say, they go through so much emotional trauma, which is what we're going to be talking about later on in one of these slides and helps anxiety and stuff like that. But I don't want to get deep into it right now. But um, I have seen with my own eyes and experimented with some children using art you know while we're teaching um i'm able to do different art activities with the children and i have seen them grow mentally and it's been amazing to be able to experience this firsthand for myself the growth in these children while i'm using art so i know firsthand and there's also other studies of that other um uh, psychologists have done and other people have done that can prove this and I have a uh, research um, extensively on this matter and there's also another a slide that I have that talks of uh, tells you about um, someone that has done the experiment on one um, on that has done the research and has experimented with this so you'll see that I'll talk about that in a little bit but I can see firsthand the effects that art has taken and given children. <laughs> hey, have you ever been in a zone? Let's say you're doing something and you have lost track of time, you've lost track of what was going on around you because you were so focused on that thing that you was doing. You were in the zone. Many athletes, when they're playing whatever they're playing, whatever um basketball, football, sport, whatever they're playing, they say sometimes, I was in the zone. Well, art can also put you in the zone. It happens to me all of the time. When I'm actually creating something or I'm drawing something, I get in that zone. That means I can't hear anything. I don't see anything. I don't lose um, attention. Um, I'm focused on that, what I am doing, because my mind is zoomed in focused thinking 
It's using all of my, my mind just to work on that, whatever it is I'm doing. If I'm sculpting, painting, um, drawing, finger painting, any whatever it is that I'm focusing on. And that happens with children too. It happens even when they're playing sometimes. But art improves their mind and it helps them to be able to get them in the zone. Hello. This is the part where the study took place. There have been brain scans that have been able to show that showing images of paintings of major artists to this is done to adults. This wasn't done to children, though. Um, I would like to see them do it to the children, though. That would be very interesting to see what would happen if we show images to the children. I didn't get to find anything having to do with that. But this was the only one that I was able to find with art and images on humans. Although they weren't children, but they were still people. And it shows that 10%, 10% of the brain, well, wait a minute, I'm sorry, it says here, the blood flow increased by as much as 10% to the reign of the brain associated with pleasure, associated with pleasure, seeing some of the images that brought them pleasure, joy, happiness. If it brings them that, it can also bring them sometimes some of the negative areas too. So there's some images that are very scary, you know? Sometimes those can bring different types of emotions, fear. But I'm glad that we were able to feel different types of emotions while we see images that we enjoy, especially the good ones. I'm currently studying and I am in the field of education. I am also an art teacher and art is my passion. So what I have in my inner being is to want to be an art therapist. That is my goal. So after I finish my bachelor's degree in early elementary, I will be entering my master's and I will be in the field of art therapy, art therapy. So this is important to me and it's very close and near to my heart because I'm able to help and see the effects that art has in children because I would like to focus on giving therapy to the children and there are parents and other guardians that have been using medications to help their children cope with anxiety I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with that you know if that's what the parent chooses and that's what the doctor recommends to give to their children, then you know that is fine. But there are other parents that do not want to give their children any medications and they're looking for other sorts of remedies. And art is that other source. It can help their children with anxiety. It can help them with um, the other slides that I'm going to present. And I don't want to go into that yet. <laughs> So we're talking about anxiety. It can help them with the anxiety. Hey, here we go. I'm going to talk about myself in, um, I'm giving, I'm going to use myself as an example in the rest of these slides, because I once was a child. We were all children at one point in time, but we grow up. So I'm going to be able to use my experience Sorry, I hear something in the background here, but it's nothing. Let's continue. I'm going to use myself as a, an example. I have used art to be able to calm myself down because I, there are times that I am very hyperactive. Now, I haven't been to the doctor to diagnose myself with ADHD or any other types of um, conditions like that because I don't really believe in being labeled and having them give you medications or whatnot like that. I just believe in 
other ways that I'm able to improve in those areas, which I have, which is using art. Now, I have been um, gifted ever since I was a little girl to be able to draw. Now, I know I didn't draw the best things ever when I was little. You know, I had to grow into being able to draw better and bigger things. So what I can say is it has helped me improve my focus because there are times that I also lose my focus at things like this slide right here, right now. My mind went right when I was supposed to go left. But I was able to gather myself and gather my thoughts to go back into focus. <laughs> Art has helped me to be able to redirect my mind, redirect my thoughts, and get them back on the right track. Hello. Here we go. Art can develop your small motor skills. It can help you develop your motor skills. You know that there's a lot of times that we're cutting, we're pasting, um, we're gluing little things to little crabs, we're coloring, we're finger painting. It helps you develop your small motor skills. Cutting. Uh, children need these things. And um, they need them because we are human beings and we use our hands all of the time. And we need to learn to be able to move our fingers to be able to hold cups, to be able to write. So art is something that helps develop these skills. Self-expression. Self-expression is very important. Um, there's some of us that do not like to express ourselves using words or have a difficult time expressing themselves using words, but they're able to express themselves using art. There's some children that don't like to talk. Sometimes it's because of a, a trauma um, or some other type of um, um, or something else that has occurred to them. It doesn't have to always be trauma. It could just be because they just don't like to talk. But um, you you can use art to express yourself. You can use art to show others who you are you know some of the things that you like uh for example me i like nature i like to draw trees i like to draw flowers i like to draw animals i like to draw cartoons i get to express myself using art and there's children that do the same there's some children that like to draw cars and there's some children that only like to draw dogs and cats believe me i have a lot of those kids <laughs> they like to draw houses dogs cats um which is good flowers happy faces sad faces that's how i get to know where are they emotionally sometimes you know like how are they feeling what's going on with them i can see it by what they're drawing and um that's a way of expressing themselves This one, this one's really good. I have a very good example on um, your child's imagination. I had a student a few weeks ago that wanted to learn how to draw a house. In the house, I helped her. You know, I told her that all you have to do is draw a square and you go like this, zoo, 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 and there goes your square. And then I told her, now we're going to add a roof. And you know, her square wasn't the same as mine, but it was a square. Then I helped her with the triangle. Zoo, zoo, zoo. She drew the triangle. Now the triangle is huge. And she was learning how to, you know, write. So her triangle is not a perfect triangle. But she was going along with the instructions. And I had just a regular house. Her house, she decided to add dog ears all by herself a nose, um, flowers all on the side. All I was doing was giving her the foundation of how to draw the house, which was a square and a triangle. Art was, she was able to use that art experience to develop and use her imagination. She saw that house as a dog and she turned him into a dog. She put 
the flowers next to him. She wanted the trees. She wanted the clouds. And all that came through just the square and the triangle. These are some of some of um, some questions that you can ask the children while they are in the stage of uh, creating their art project. You can always ask them questions to see where they're at and what's going on with them. Um, that's how you get to have the communication with the child. So here I have listed a few uh, questions and a few little methods that you can go through while you are with the children um, when they are actually creating something cool. And how they learn you get to see how they're learning you get to see what they're thinking without really seeing inside their mind but you can see it through their art process and asking questions so as you saw in this presentation art can help with so many things in children it can even help adults it doesn't only have to focus on children which is the amazing gift that we have through art there's also music there's also writing there's other avenues but for me art is close to my heart because it has helped me and i've seen it help others adults and children so if you haven't never given it a shot and you feel like you need something you're looking for something give art the opportunity even if you don't know how to draw you don't need to know how to draw you learn you go through steps and it's a process and we're all learning together so don't never throw art away give it a shot it can help you it has helped me this is my reference slide and um this is my reference right here. That's, this one's going to be short and sweet. See y'all on the next slide. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you so much for this assignment. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I loved it. And I have learned a lot in this class. And I am keeping this book. And I'm going to be going over it. Times and times and times and times. Because I'm going to need it. I know I'm going to need it. And the information in there is priceless. So I thank you. Thank you for being a great teacher and love you.